Uh, the storms that Dennis was talking about causing some major problems for people living in the foothills, uh, the Forest Hill area. Some people there are without power as residents are working to dig out from all that snow that they've gotten in the last week or so. Fox 40's Eric Rucker is live in Forest Hill to explain uh, the upcoming help that is headed to that area. And Eric, hopefully the sooner the better. And that help, Eric, we can tell you is now here. We have the Forest Hill Veterans Memorial Hall. It has opened its doors just to the left of where we're at right now. It'll be open until 7 o'clock. People can charge their phones and they can stay warm inside of there. We'll talk more about that in just a second. I want to show you something very important in these neck of the woods, and that being the generator. It's funny, you don't have to see people's lights on in their houses to know whether they have power or not. That all comes from the hum of these generators. Let's set the scene and show you what it's like in the downtown area of Forest Hill. Let's go ahead and roll that video. Of course, there were a lot of plows with the counties out, uh, plows with Placer County, I should say. Uh, they were out hitting the roads, and that was one of the issues for the Veterans Hall was trying to just even give people access to the hall itself. Obviously, plows, people with snow blowers, uh, those with their shovels doing it old school, just trying to clear a path, trying to get out to the car, doing whatever they can to makes some of life accessible because it is not easy right now. Power has been out here since about Sunday night into early Monday morning, so for a few days now, and many people just trying to power up their homes with their generators any way they can, just keep the refrigerators running, anything that can basically keep life running as normal, at least to the best of their ability. Others just without power completely. There are some stores and some gas stations uh, that obviously have big generators themselves, so they're able to have the power out. We've seen crews of PG&E and other utilities just trying to do the restoration that they can do. As for the Veterans Hall and people coming in, we talked to a volunteer a little bit earlier on, and uh, this is what they had to say about being here in the time of need when people do need them. It's just part of what we do in the community. You know, um, it's it's grown and changed throughout the years, but um, as it does that, the need increases. So you're always happy to help? Yes, always happy. Mm -hmm. So again, the Veterans Hall will be open until 7 o'clock tonight. It will reopen in the morning and stay open until 7 o'clock tomorrow night. And that woman, that volunteer you just heard from, saying they anticipate being open through the weekend. One thing they want keep people to keep in mind in all of this is bring your own charging cables for your phone or whatever accessories you have. They do have the power outlets, but they don't necessarily have the cables to help everybody out. Everybody's got different phones and stuff along those lines. And as we said, even getting this open on this road was a challenge in itself. People here are going to continue life like it is right now for probably a little bit while longer. We are live in Forest Hill tonight. I'm Eric Rucker, Fox 40 News. Eric